stand back. First and foremost, I pledge allegiance to the croc. The New York Emily Rock, hide it in my sock. Then I wear some crocs, then I let it rock. The croc almost took out Nikocaro. His best friend proved to almost be his worst enemy, which is ironic. Cause that is what food is right now. I just want to say I'm also the type of person to say if you don't like it you could suck my croc and I actually laugh at that because that's the type of humor that I have been reduced to and if you like that type of humor then you should probably subscribe. Hi I'm 16 Leo nice to meet you and I feel like we're having deja vu don't you? <laughs> deja vu. What did you just say? Nothing just had a little deja vu. Did we not do this Nikocado disability saga? Did I not sit here for four hours, half dying, watching a man half dying while eating burgers all his life? Yes, we're back. And today, we're looking at Nikocado's Disability Saga Part 2 because for whatever reason, this man has broken another bone in his poor body. Oh! Oh my gosh, ouch! This is a YouTuber that I genuinely... I don't know whether he's blurring the lines of reality and fiction at this point. This man is method acting so hard he's like the Daniel Day-Lewis of shitty mukbangs. And I don't know what to make of it. Like genuinely I think I would get along well with this person, I like his personality, I like his showmanship. I'm very entertained by him and I have no problem with the weight that he's at. Unfortunately, the weight that he's at keeps ballooning up, pun not intended. Two weights that are so exorbitant that he's now breaking bones in his body just by breathing. Say that three times fast, Dr. Seuss. Brittle man breaks bones every day. Brittle man can't seem to get away. Nikocado and his husband Orlin, somewhat gay. I, sorry, but that's what it is. Today we're taking a look at the Broken Hill Spa saga that Nikocado seems to do. And I am well aware, just by the way, this man is a content farm and he needs stuff to get views and anything he can do to get views he will do. Just like many YouTubers, if you even hurt your pinky, you'll be like, ah, injured my finger, almost, hand almost came off, had to get amputated, not clickbait. I know that YouTubers play things up for views. This is the second time that he seems to have hurt himself in a way that is probably more severe than it should be. And I wanted to take a look at some of the videos today because I don't know if he's serious. I, I find it very hard to believe. Before we get into the video, if you like it, at the end of it, you should subscribe. If you do subscribe, I'll decorate these Crocs and wear them for an episode. <laughs> I hate Crocs. If you know anything about me, I absolutely hate these. I can't believe I'm even holding one. While you're at it, follow me on my Instagram at 16leo. That way, you can give me ideas for the next video. Thanks to whoever gave me this idea. Jesus! Alright, so a month ago, Nikocado Avocado on his second channel, More Nikocado, started posting a whole saga as he posts every day doing his mukbang videos. The only problem was the saga had to do again with another disability, this time him breaking his heel spore. The videos go as follows, I broke my heel spore, Taco Tuesday, Wingstop Wednesday, Takeout Thursday, Five Guys Friday, which sounds like something that should be on his OnlyFans, Surgery Saturday, didn't know that was the thing. Didn't know it was so popular that every week this man has to have surgery. Oh, it's it's Saturday. Let me get my cheese and just celebrate. So surgery is not something that you should be having every week, Nikocado. Then Subway Sunday. Because after surgery, you need a foot long. <laughs> Sorry. It's a bit much. So I wanted to take a look at it. And if you just look at the pictures, it's all the same pictures. It's as if... He made this into a series. Every thumbnail is the same one of him in his mask that he needs to breathe. And the first picture is him like holding his body like, Aah! because you know that's what he does. So once again, I feel like Nikocado is milking the proverbial teat of YouTube by making the videos all 51 minutes, 40 minutes, 54, 31, 41, 54, and putting ads throughout the video. And while I know I make long videos, at least I try and pepper them with content that is decent. I'm not saying that Nikocado's content isn't good, but objectively speaking, watching a man eat himself to death, I don't think that's really healthy for even the viewer to watch. Last time I watched four hours of his content, this time I'm gonna do the same thing, but I already drank a Baraka, so I am A-OK! -okay. Let us get into the damn video. SPAGHETTIOS! SPAGHETTIOS! 
Within one second, I already hate it. Ooh, we're in for it. We're in for it. Oh, my God. Ooh, we're in for it, Henry the Henny Horse. We're in for it, buddy. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. Ouch. <coughs> I've never felt more sorry for a pair of slides in my life. You know whoever made these slides were like, hey, come on, bro. There's a weight limit on these. I'm sorry, man. It's all, the cushion only lasts up to 400 pounds. I don't know what Nick's current weight is, but he's he's aiming for the highest possible weight. Oh my gosh, I'm not even. I'm, oh, oh, Alexa, order me a cane. Ouch. I don't want David's cookies. Alexa, order me a cane. You know what? I actually, <laughs> I had that trouble as well. Last time I was like, Alexa, order me some corn. <laughs> She ordered me something completely different, and she said, no, you like this. And I had to delete my search history, so I, I agree with Nick Ocado for that one. <sighs> I'm going to use this. Ouch! Ouch! I'm not spending $31. Okay, well, look, let's get past the ruse of Nick Ocado, since we're breaking it down. Yes. Someone who's watching this will be like, oh, look at his shirt. It's just sticking out. Look at that fupa. He looks like a whale. You know what I mean? People will say that because it's like controversial and it's out there. Literally, his tummy is out there. But he's doing that on purpose because believe it or not, Nick Okado is a very smart, very, very smart businessman. He knows how to sell his product and his product is his fatness at this point. Am I being too real? Maybe. I've been watching Shake. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. You know what I mean, though. Like, if he covered up his shirt, it might not be as engaging. People might click off the video like, yeah, he's just saying the same thing. Now his shirt's half out there like, look at it. Oh, my God, look at it. And saying, like, I broke my heel spell, people are going to come to the conclusion like, you know, because of the weight. <sighs> oh, my God, it's getting closer. Ah. Ouch. Ouch. You guys, I broke my heel spur. My heel spur's my... I've always had a heel spur. I've always had a heel spur. Ouch! Oh my god, I forgot I'm gonna have to listen to this every five seconds. In between the talking, I'm gonna hear... Oh! Yeah! It's too much. Uh, oh my gosh, I haven't eaten all day. I'm so... <laughs> Why does this happen to me? Me! me. Uh, I paused on a picture where I'm not even joking to you. I can st I can't see the end of the belly button. It looks like it leads into the Milky Way, man. It looks like if scientists, if Brian Cox discovers interstellar time travel and goes through a portal, he might come out of a fucking Nikocado's belly button. Woo! I need NASA to explore this. Yeah. I don't even use this thing. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am not okay. <sighs> Stop! Oh. <coughs> Ooh, I never had such a visceral reaction in my life before. When he picked it up and dropped it and it made that <coughs> sound. Oh. <coughs> oh, Nikki boy, you really, you, you got it going on, man. Like I keep saying, you know, I, if he's happy with his weight, I'm happy. I know there's a lot of people out here who are like, yo, you need to lose weight. I don't think he needs to lose weight. I just really feel concerned if he keeps gaining it and then gets less mobile and uh, less healthy because that's my concern. My concern is like, oh man, this dude is, is going to be a detriment to his, his own health and slowly eat himself away for views of YouTube, which is just not practical and not something that you want because you want to enjoy that money. You want to enjoy your fame, your success. Congratulations. You got further than a lot of people ever would. So I would rather you enjoy that than like be fighting in hospital. You know what I mean? But I'm not like that nice at the same time. I'm not going to not roast you. I am not okay. I broke my heel spur. Ouch! 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 So, you know, it's two, three minutes into the video and we're still not really aware of why he broke it, how he broke it. You know, it's it's a Nikocado video. For him to tell you one thing, it's going to take 10 to 20 minutes, so. <gasps> oh. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to like a 30 year old man close to the camera going, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Ouch. 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 Ooh. 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 So my heel spur came out of my heel. It disc it, it's lodged itself into my skin. That sounds really serious, right? Let me look up heel spa. Let me look up that. Broken calcaneal. I'm not a doctor. I didn't say I was. Spurs can occur by direct injury or indirectly due to repetitive traction. Bilateral occurrence of fractured calcaneal spurs is extremely rare and has not been reported before. Often a conservative treatment is adequate to relieve pain in these cases and surgery is rarely required. How long does a broken heel spur take to heal? About 3-4 to four weeks. Which is kinda odd because it only took Nikocado a week to heal from it, seeing as no other videos talk about it in that 3-4 to four week span. I'm not saying he didn't break it, I'm just saying he's probably recovered faster than anybody else I've ever seen. He has the healing juices. Or Orlin does. Someone does. Let me just search up. Can you walk with a broken heel spool? Okay, well it says it's especially important to rest the feet after long periods of standing and other activities. In the case of acute pain from a heel spur, your podiatrist may ask you to rest your foot until your symptoms subside. Putting weight on your heel while it's in pain will likely worsen your condition. Which is odd, because Nigakado doesn't sit once in this video. You'd think that if he went to a doctor, they'd be like, Hey, Nick, sit. Please. The only time that this person doesn't want to sit is when he breaks something. I don't know if he wants to aggravate it more so he could be in more pain, so he could get more content. Which is just... The bane of YouTube. Not the bane. He might be the bane. A lot of times YouTubers sort of get lost. And they sort of lose their way. And what they've come from. I mean we all know the story. And I want to do a whole documentary on it actually. But Nick Akato was this really talented musician. And I'm sure he still is. He played the violin like nobody's business. But now he's resorted to a man who is using his weight to gain views. And that is what people know him for. This comically villainous YouTuber who just eats things and then complains. And it's sad because he's literally hurting himself for views. And I don't, I don't agree with that. And it's your fault, actually. Ouch! Ah! Everyone's been telling me, you need to get healthy. You need to take care of your health. You need... So I decided to go on the treadmill for the first time, and I stopped doing the treadmill because it gave me heart palpitations. Ugh. And so I was on the treadmill. And I wasn't even going that fast. I was going nice and slow. Ooh. And all of a sudden, I hear this snap. Maybe it was the treadmill. <laughs> the treadmill was like, ah! <laughs> you can't blame anybody else for going on the treadmill and then getting injured. You gotta take exercise seriously, but you also have to take precaution. You gotta start off slow. The key to health isn't like 0 to 100, you have to start at 1. Each step, Nick. Don't blame us for that one. It's my heel. Oh my god. Did you see how hard he moved that? That table looks like it weighed a lot. He moved it with the might of Zeus. Something would give you guys my weight screen out of control. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. How do you know that your weight is getting out of control? When you cry, your belly jiggles. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I really do like them. I like him and Orlin, I like their dynamic. I enjoy the trashiness of it. I enjoy the entertainment element, and I think that, that Nick Okado, especially, is really good and he's a really funny guy. But I'm always split between, oh, should I be condoning this or condemning it? I don't know. I can't tell him what to do. I don't know him. But at the same time, I know ethically it's probably not right. But I want him to have his freedom. I'm just stuck in the middle. I wore the wrong shoes! Oh my god. I slept 
for like two hours. I'm in so much pain. Look at the bags are in my eyes. I haven't showered. I look like a mess. I'm not okay. Oh, I like how he just threw that in there. I haven't showered. I feel like the slightest excuse you get not to shower, you don't do it. You stinky boy. Stinky boy. Why don't you take a shower, stinky boy? <laughs> I think anybody calls him that. Uh, please, Orlin, if you're watching this, can you please call Nick Stinky Boy once? I just want to hear it. So long, Stinky Boy. I don't know how I honestly might have to shut down my whole platforms on the internet because I can barely walk because I had a heel spur develop. The melodrama is strong with this one. I might have to shut down my whole platforms on the internets because my feet is, is all messed up from walking on the treadmill, which is your fault. I would pay you to see you take one week off social media. I'll give you a thousand dollars right now of my own money. No questions asked. You take a break from social media and you just give yourself one week of healing in nature and just be happy. But I know you won't do it. Cause you're gonna be making more by being on YouTube, huh? The doctor says it's my weight, which I don't believe. I mean, I don't wanna be told that what I'm eating makes my bones do weird things. No, 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 no. This is my life. No more mukbangs. I am healthy. I am healthy. That's the peak uh, performance of a male right there. Believe it or not, this is, this is the new issue of uh, men's health. Whoever gave him that bell, by the way, I hate you. I hate you so much. Please, take the damn thing out of his hand, because he's going to be ringing it like a cat all the time. Shame. That's what I said at the doctor's office. And they just say, oh, you're dramatic. Oh, you're just a troll trying to get attention. <laughs> Can you imagine a doctor saying that? Mr. Avocado, it says, uh, it says here you're, you're a bitch. Go away, Ashley. Why are you even on my channel? Why are you even here? Then he does one of the longest yees I've ever heard and I sped it up to make him sound like a fly. You guys, what would you do if you're alone in a flat? Probably take my pants off. You don't want to go outside. You can't walk because you're too fat. Your heel spur snaps and you're committed to an algorithm before they shut you down. <sighs> I'm not sure what the end of that is, but I think he said you're committed to an algorithm. And yet again, we bring ourselves back to the point that YouTube rules people's lives. I could tell you as a YouTuber, uh, this is my full-time job. Some days are a lot harder than others. There's no such thing as a day off because on YouTube, you get an abundance of content. Problem is, I, as the YouTuber, am competing with your attention for everyone else and with everyone else. Everyone that you want to watch, I'm also competing with their attention and sometimes, as a YouTuber, it gets absolutely daunting. How do I get them to watch me so that I can put food on the table for my family because I need it? That's a very, very tough, very high pressure situation to deal with. And this is why so many YouTubers deal with anxiety and depression and many other problems. And it leads you to an unhealthy lifestyle. I'm sure this man wants to take a break. I wish that I could let him know that he should take a break and that his audience will be waiting for him when he comes back. But I can't promise that. I don't know. And maybe he's right. Maybe he has to work because as soon as he leaves, they'll forget about him. It's sad. It's true. But that's the life of a YouTuber. I get comfort from people. Even though y'all suck, sometimes nice comments make me feel better. Okay, I'll give you a nice comment. I still think you're hilarious. I think you're great. And I don't care about you losing weight, personally. I'm not even joking. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Uh, ow. Uh, oh, uh, here's your video for the day, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm holding it back, holding it back, holding it back. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you do with your life when you're like this? I need to get some strong stuff. That's how he ends the video. He says, what do you do with your life when you're like this? And I need to get some strong stuff, which is very concerning because I hope that this man is just joking and not actually doing that. I, again, don't know what percentage of it is true, what percentage of it is fake. Every time he cries for Wolf, I don't want to believe him because he's done it so many times and 90% of the time he's been lying. Every time he ever says he breaks up with Orlin, I see Orlin back. He said he broke up with Orlin and Orlin's in the next video. It's just such a train wreck to watch and I cannot for the life of me look away. 
Here's the second video. And also, before you watch it, you're welcome for the image. Don't brace yourself. This is gonna be lovely. Woo! There, there it is. There's the, there's the leg fupa. That's the image I wanted to see. I wanted to see a man crossing his legs, showing me his balls. Ouch! I don't care about your heel spur. We were trying to show the... Look, not to belabor the point, but uh, unless your doctor is legally blind, I don't think he's going to be wrapping your foot up that badly. That looks like the worst tourniquet I've ever seen in my life. So I'm not sure if this is real, but they probably did it to make sure that, you know, it popped on camera. Again, YouTube moves 101. By the way, for anybody who doesn't know, that's uh, Nick's boyfriend, Orlin, who gives him the best roast of all time. Orlin just thrives on this channel. I don't care about your heel spur. We were trying to show the... They don't want to see that. Because he loves to roast Nikocado, and I'm here for it. My heel spur is... Ah! They just see your fupa. I, I don't have a fupa. Uh, they may... You basically are Look, a you lymphedema. Made me you are a lymphedema. It's just water weight. Uh, but I've been here in bed all day. I'm in lots of pain medicines. This is my foot. Woo! Those are some nice legs, Nick. Also, he's still wearing his own merch after surgery. You think he went in for surgery like that and they're like, who's that? It's me, Cheese Man. All right, let's work on your leg and probably your brain afterwards. Back from the hospital. We don't have those types of shirts where I'm from. I'm like, what, would you like me to give you one? Actually, I can't because I'm greedy. Good, it's just waterweight.com. You can buy one, lady. It's just waterweight.com. Just waterweight.com, huh? These are such ugly shirts. 60 bucks for a shirt, Nick. <laughs> you know what, Nick? I'm gonna support you. I'm gonna buy this goddamn shirt. Next video I'm gonna do is probably gonna be wearing your shirt. And um, I decided let's be skinny with something that I haven't had in years. You haven't been skinny in five years, sir. Why did they put the mac and cheese like this? So, as usual, Nikocado Avocado uses the classic technique of I'm going to gain sympathy from my audience by telling them I've had an incident occur in my life but drawing it out to the point where they have to watch most of the video. Now on YouTube, the more you can get someone to watch a video, the more views, subscribers, money, and retention you earn. And that is the name of the game on YouTube. And Nikocado knows this. So he's not going to tell you at the start what happens. He's going to draw it out throughout the video so you have to watch while he eats his shitty food. And it's such a Crappy tactic, but also very smart. They should be in a container. What are those? Are those not containers? That's it. Did you break your? That cost me fifty dollars. Hey man, I bought your shirt for eighty-three dollars, and I didn't scream, so you know, let's all calm down. <laughs> Mac are normal human portions. I. Not everyone's a pig like you are. Not everyone. I identify as. Okay, well, then Nikocado actually gets roasted by Orlin. You're a blob! A human blob! <laughs> You're a blob! A human blob! The feeding of the human blob! I don't know what their actual fighting is like, because I know they're laughing as soon as the cameras are cut. All these two ever do is play it out for views just like a reality show, but you know behind the cameras they're having fun. But it's just always funny to hear Orlin come up with the stuff that he does. I don't know who his writer is, but he should get hired at SNL for this. That's it! Chinese takeout! Thank you, thank you, thank you. That comes from China. They filled up the actual container. I'm angry. It's expensive weight gain. Not really sure what that accent was. <laughs> Borderline. I don't even want to do the accent. Just had a moment there of, uh, Subpar judgment. Of course, Nikocado is the one who actually, and this is serious, had a video saying, if you want to hear me say the N-word, uh, go to my Patreon, where he did it. And there is a video of him actually saying it, so... That nasty ass mother piece of... You're still gonna stuff your pie hole with every last morsel. Here we go, boys and girls, we have to make arts and crafts even though I'm disabled. What are you, a lunch lady? Ah! This is Nikocado's navel. Hello? 911? I think there's a-
No, nope, sorry, he was just screaming for the macaroni. 69, my favorite number. You never do that number anymore, you can't do it. Because I'm disabled. Because your, your pickle gets flushed in the These two can't 69, the number's too low. If they 69, they'd make 480. It's not a fat joke, that's a math joke. Look it up. Bury my fat! I don't have a fupa! Fupa cabra. Fupa cabra, oh please. Did he write that one down? Fupa cabra? I like that. Jesus Christ. Oof. God, when, you're, when your husband is flaming you so much that you should burn calories from all the roasting. Mm. Now, of course, we get to the best part of a mukbang, watching this man eat without closing his mouth. Yes, if you have an appetite, suppress it, because it's going to go away. Cheese, 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 cheese. Uh, such a sad day to be vegan. Here's my foot, and here's my setup. Surgery situation type deal. How about a weight loss situation type deal so you don't keep getting ouch, surgery? Ouch. Oh! Okay. No, you can't blame me anymore, Nick Ocado. Your husband's saying it. I'm not the one doing it. When your husband is doing the filet mignons, I don't know what else to say, man. I'm just the barrister. This had nothing to do with my weight gain. Ouch. Today is surgery Saturday. I'm going to put the ribs on my broken foot. You should put them on your ribs. Maybe some Where's of your the old ribs. See if they can make an appearance. Do y'all want to see my ribs or not? Yes or no? <laughs> They're buried. De <laughs> Deep down like the Titanic. God damn. They're buried like the Titanic. Orlin really gives it to him sometimes. My gosh. Mm. Ah! It's so delicious. It's so tasty. I need to... We need to calm my, calm my bits. Heel spur moment type deal. Is that the thumbnail? That's the thumbnail, isn't it? Surgery Saturdays. How about a weight loss type deal, type moment, situation type deal? I don't want to lose weight because God made me beautiful. How about I just accept how I is? Take this. You is ugly. It's too, it's too hard on my bones to carry that. <sighs> you is ugly. Just, just a husband saying it to another husband. You is ugly. Wow. Mmm, yeah, because I cheat on you, Colombian. Okay. I like Mexican guys. I cheat on you with Colombians and Mexicans. Again, like I said, just a fantastic relationship. I cheat on you, you Colombian. Well, I cheat on you. Just two people cheating on each other. 35 and older. Mexicans. I barely even chewed. So tasty. So I'm going to tell you about my surgery. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, lest we forget, it's been like 40 minutes. Why don't you start with that? Yeah. This is like going to a doctor's office and he's like, hey, do you like basketball? Yeah, Doc, look, my arm is uh, actually going to need an amputation real soon, so if you could just hurry that. Yeah, yeah. Do you like soccer? Yeah, no, no. I, honestly, I wish I had the balls to tell you to actually do your job. It's just like that, you know. You come here expecting to see something, and then you have to wait 40, 50 minutes to even get to the point. I just wanted to know if he was okay. Now I had to watch him eat macaroni and cheese for like an hour straight. My surgery was at nighttime last night. I told him I want to be seen sooner, and they're like, well, we have a long waiting list. And I said, no. I'm, I have a very important career that requires a lot of activity. I need to have this chopped off, sewn back up, and recovering. That requires a lot of activity. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I beg to, I beg to call Cap, but I think it's a little Leonardo DiCaprio. 90% of the time you sit down and you eat food and then you scream. I'm, I'm, I'm a broken man. I, I don't know what to say anymore. Pray for me. Somebody help me. Lord, please save me. Because all I can think about is cheese and Nick Ocado's knees. Cheese. Ah. Uh. That's so good. That's gross. Uh, chew it a little more, my guy. I can see all of it in the mouth. His goal is to be as gross as possible. I know it. It's kind of crazy that I'm still here, to be honest with you. Because when that, that happens, I always feel like I'm, I'm going. You know what I mean? I feel like it's over. Bye-bye, Earth. 
Not for broken hills, but like, I hate when people trivialize things. You know what I mean? Like, not to belabor the point, but like, people really suffer with real issues. I'm not saying that a broken hill sport is not a real issue, but like, you know, there's people who really be suffering who might not make it the next day. A couple months ago, I had balance issues. I was in hospital, and the person next to me might not have made it. And we talked to each other, and we were like, you know, you gotta live every day and enjoy every day because you, you just don't know when it ends. And I felt lucky because, like, I was sad about my condition. I'm like, oh, man, this dude's going through some real stuff. Meanwhile, over here, he's like, I thought I was gonna die. I broke my heel spur from walking on the treadmill. I thought it was goodbye, Earth. No, not at all. People are gonna, that's not, it's not a fatal condition, bro. So it's sad that you're like saying that because, you know, if something, God forbid, something actually happens to you, then people are gonna be like, oh, he's just lying about it. And then you might not be lying about it. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't think you should be doing this, is all I'm saying. Nick? Stop it. Get some help. Okay, as you see, I'm avoiding my ribs. We have to do it. I'm scared. That meat slid right off the bone. I'm looking at the bone like a man. <laughs> I'm looking the bone like a man. Yeah. Nick Ocado. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. That should be your thing, Nick. You should say that. <laughs> I hate the sound effects, eh? I, like I said, he broke me. I it's over. It's over. I'm a lost cause. Say goodbye. I'm I'm done. Hair. Uh -huh. Let's try my chicken parmesan. Okay, so I'm not a huge meat lover. I'm a cheese lover, cheese and butter lover, carbs lover. I'm not a huge meat lover. I'm a cheese lover. Thanks for the fork. You're not welcome. Well, I didn't really thank you. I just kind of said it. Just I know, you don't mean it. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Let's see how this goes. I feel like I'm catching my breath still. This happened because the, ever since I broke my heel spur, I've been trying to play catch up with my breath because I'm on a weight loss journey. Oh, I don't love you. E Turn off the camera. Uh, we've got to the end, finally. Um... I just went through the two hours in my head at the end of the video, Nikocado, while eating, says something, and uh, Olin comes in and says, I don't really love you. Nikocado then cries, fake cries, and then says, turn off the camera! And they have a little dispute before uh, he farts. You think I called you in here because I love you? Ha 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 ha! Yeah, right. You're here to work for me. Work. I love your money. Brace. I'm bracing, Nick. I'm, I'm bracing. I'm bracing. Brace. 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 I am. Brace. Brace. <laughs> oh, God. Did you ever think when YouTube started as a platform, one of the pivotal videos off the site would be a 30-something-year-old man farting and occasionally taking a shit in his pants. Did you think he'd be one of the forefront of YouTube, one of the leaders of YouTube, the most viewed content creators of all time? Girl, I have to poop. Goodbye. That's how it ends. He just farts, he lays there as if in euphoria for like three seconds, and he's like, Girl, I have to poop. Goodbye. That is Nikocado Avocados. Disability Saga number two. If we go onto his page and we look, after McDonald's Monday, he goes straight back to Rice Cakes with Orlin, Domino's Pizza with Orlin. And the thing is, we can see easily that this man is doing it for views. The only time Nick Okado ever gets real views is when he threatens to leave his relationship with Orlin. If you look at a video like our final video together, Mukbang, 586k views. But the one next to it, Massive Popeyes Feast, 228k views. This man is clearly playing the algorithm, and in turn playing you guys and everybody else who watches, and I guess myself too. I'm not exactly happy about it, but I don't know what I'd feel if this man actually had something happen to him. It would really shock me. But, breaking news. Surprise! 
as I'm filming this video, as I finished filming it, I just saw a video that he posted saying I might have cancer. And I'm telling you right now, if he lies about this, I'm going to lose it. Needless to say, you know what my next video is. I guess I'm going to have to prepare. Watch this because it's another 56 minute video. I'm going to give it another few days. Hopefully he'll post another video and uh, be fine. Like I said, uh, I hope that he just stops using his disability and things to leverage views. Although getting him more views and more money, I really don't think it's the ethical way to do things. And I think in the long run, people just won't respect you for it. So, Nick, if you're watching this, like I said, I like you, bro. But two things. I ideally would hope that you sustain your weight and not keep increasing it and lose your mobility. And secondly, watch not your health in terms of weight, but like just the way that you're living mentally. Because I think YouTube might be wearing you out. That's my personal opinion. It could be 100% wrong. I just want to see everybody do well. Okay? Before we go, I just want to know your opinion. Can you leave a comment below? Tell me what you think about Nikocado. Are you okay with it? Do you think he's going too far? And what do you think about YouTubers burning out? Let me know. Until then, I will see you. This is Leo signing off saying, Me and the horsey are leaving. We're going to an old town road. We're going to eat a cheeseburger. I got my horses in the back until I ate them horses. Cause I'm hungry and I want to mukbang with some horses. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Cause YouTube doesn't promote good content. Bye.